M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's run SDR Connect. If you've not heard of SDR Connect, this has been out since August 2023. It's, it's designed and made by SDR Play. We, we all know SDR Play, they've been around many years. I have the SDR Uno here. They do three different products. If we just quickly go to their products, you've got the SDR Play 1A. Now the one won't run on this, but the one A will. You've got the RSP DX and the Duo. I've got the Duo because I like that you can run two screens at the same time and have VHF, UHF simultaneously. So let's just run it. Now you can't, the thing about this system, you can run a server so you can, when, when it's connected at home, you can go off anywhere in the world. And if you've got the IP address, you can connect. It also runs on Windows. Linux and Mac and, and so much more. I'm a novice. I'm new. I'm just as I learn I'm uh, I'm filming and you're seeing me do it. That's all that's happening here And there is a list of all the functionality here Which we went through in an earlier video So let's just scroll down and download and let's see how this goes. So we got Windows 64 is the system I'm on I'm going to download that And then, not really sure why it says that. Down, it's a warning, isn't it? Let's face facts. So it's downloading. Let's try it again. We'll follow the prompts all the way through. Next. Please make sure all RSPs are disconnected. Yes, it's ready, but disconnected. Next. Next. Create desktop. Yeah, so it seems like it's quite straightforward just to get this up and running. If you have an RSP, connect it and allow the driver to install. Now my driver's already installed, but I'm gonna plug it in. Go next. Setup has finished installing SDR Connect on your computer. This application may be launched, finish. So we'll go to my shortcut for SDR. Let's find that. Or my new, should I say my new shortcut, which I can see there, this window here. Double click. And here's our window. I know that to, to select play, we can, uh, it would start. I'm just looking here. I'm curious to know that if I plug in my SDR, recognize that. So I'm going to just quickly check that now. And there's a refresh here and I'll just let it refresh and have a look so no although it is listing two items but they're the same item so then we'll just click play and see what happens we hope there you go we have life let's find the right band and turn this down Looks like we've got volume here at the top and we've got a 40 meter antenna connected. So we're going to find bands down here by the looks of it. Bands. Remember, I've never used this. Uh, 40 meters LSB. Double click that. Do you have to click play? Click that. And then antenna. We've got cogs up here for antennas A and B. So where are they? RF gain is a bit high. Let's just stop and then start. I think I will stop and start. So I did reboot and um, and that did work, but probably because I'm pressing to start and stop record, I am pressing the F buttons and that's affecting things. Let's push play again. Okay, so we're just scrolling through, just scrolling my my mouse there. Someone there? What's this plus and minus? We've got zoom here. Yeah, 
in the cog we have RF gain system gain antennas one and two <coughs> Hit the three dots here, we can add a server, I've not done that before. About SDR Connect, so inform information there, excellent. The different bands here, and you've got this small slider here. At the bottom, power display, S meter, measurements or both. Swap digits, waterfall palette different types there by the looks of it at the top here auxiliary spectrum is it let's try moving some of this on the left side got the light there you are and then you've got it looks like an audio spectrum here recording what's this plus add vrx Ah, okay. We can add another one. So on that one, so you've got two windows here. Oh. For that one I could possibly add Let's try it 4 3 4 add my 70 centimeter one. I also notice this little TV screen. We've got averaging adjustment there. Let's turn that down because I'm sure that noise is annoying. So I will do dual receive, uh, but I think at the moment I'm just learning what's happening here. Mode. And frequency. Can I put a four there? No, I'm just tapping my keyboard, but you know, I'll learn that. trying to find the bands on this on the second screen you know the bands that we had on the other one do we have two band selections not seeing it at the moment can we close that window let's just click this add server thing let's have a go edit Add server, display name. Oh, you can use an IP address or a host name. I get that. So if I put in an IP address here, 192.168.0.99, uh, 50,000 port save we now have a server saved probably have to stop and start it stop and then i don't actually know how to connect to a server <laughs> uh, push play i'm guessing that you'll be able to select a server rather than selecting and i'm sure there's a setup process to to now allow the server to even be seen so there you are. Well, I think I think that's very easy. You can just run the software, and as long as you've got the RSP Duo, you're up and running. I'm sure you can run the other dongles because you can with with the SDR Uno uh, with the um, the DX, the Duo, and the One A. You can. There's just, there's just a setup to it, but I highly recommend the RSP hardware. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Bye for now.